Now to coverage you saw first on KXLY. Another sexually violent predator has made his way to Spokane. More specifically to the Lincoln House where 10 other sex offenders already live. Our exclusive coverage has been upsetting to many of you. And now one Spokane woman is hoping to make a change. So just going to keep coming. So instead I'd like to have them hopefully out of Spokane and back to where they're supposed to be in prison. <laughs> Takisa Beck is turning her anger into action. She's created a petition in an effort to stop the release of sexually violent predators to Spokane. She spoke exclusively with our Taylor Graham today about her mission. Takisa Beck was scrolling through her feed four months ago when she came across this story. Next week, the state of Washington will release this man to live in Spokane, classified as a sexually violent predator. A KXLY4 report of yet another sexually violent predator making his way to Spokane after he served prison time and went through extensive therapy at the state's special commitment center on McNeil Island. Knowing he was moving here into the Lincoln House with other sex offenders made Takesia stop in her tracks. I didn't think it was fair, so I figured I'm sure not the only one who feels this way. And she wasn't. For months, our viewers have been asking us the same questions Takesia has been asking herself since February. Why can't the person who's giving them treatment go to them? You know, why do they have to come here? So she started a petition in hopes of keeping these predators out of the Lincoln House and out of Spokane in general. And the fact that they have like liberty to go out and wander the streets with, I mean, supervision, supposedly. <laughs> I mean, it's not safe. There's schools nearby too. I mean, I don't think it's safe. For Spokane. But there has to be new legislation at the state level for something to change. As it stands now, the city and the county do not have the authority to stop the relocation of these predators here. I'm hoping that by finding more signatures, we can kind of bring it back up and to a higher level and hope they change the law and do something about it. But I'm only one person, so. It's kind of tough. Her petition just passed her original goal of 100 signatures, and she doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Takesia is not alone in this. County Commissioner Josh Kearns and Councilwoman Lori Kinnear tell me they've reached out to state legislators to see what can be done to change this law at the state level. Reporting in Spokane, Taylor Graham, KXLY4 News.